that really kind of sucks when you think about it, right? Because here, here we have, you know, technologies like solar panels that, that don't produce carbon emissions, at least, you know, uh, in their day-to-day -day use. And you think, oh, this would be great. This would be an alternative. We don't, we don't, we're not going to pollute doing this. But then we have to, 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 to create them, we have to, we have to, you know, disturb the environment in such a terrible way by, by mining these metals. Um, it's, t it sucks, right? Like there's no, it feels like, it feels like there's no way to win this, um, Definitely. sort of energy problem that we have, that we, we, ha we need way more energy and there's no clean way to get it. So what do you think that's about that? That's exactly, that's precisely my point. Uh, well, first to say, uh, green, um, solar panels, uh, may feature, uh, rare metals such as gallium and indium. Uh, rare, um, solar panels are made of, uh, silicium metal which is not very rare, uh, but it's called a critical mineral, a critical metal by the, UN, it's by, by the United States Geological Survey, because there might be supply shortages, because there are tensions between the supply and the demand. So in my definition of rare, I include silicium metal as being an industrially rare metal, not a geologically, but industrially rare metal. Mm -hmm. But yes, I mean, these, uh, these metals, all these metals are mined in, in terrible conditions. And my first reaction when I saw that was exactly yours how is that that i had never heard about this how yeah. is that that you replace i mean i want this like, green energy transition for sure uh, you know eric yeah. I, I don't want to keep uh, to stay <laughs> uh, you know uh, dependent on oil and coal we know the impact of, of these resources on climate change so we need to change and we need to find new technologies but every every time there is human impact there is a pollution. The thing with these green technologies is that the pollution is concentrated during the manufacturing process mm -hmm. and might also uh, happen during the recycling process, assuming that we can recycle these technologies. That is yeah. another issue. But these technologies don't pollute when you use it. When I use it, yeah. I may uh, see a solar panel produce energy. Same for wind turbine. I may, uh, you know, uh, move myself in an electric car, and it's not going to emit any CO2 emissions. So I'm going to say to myself, "That's wonderful. This is a zero emission car because that is true. It doesn't produce CO2 during the the, the using phase. Mm -hmm. But what we don't see is what is the pollution and the CO2 emissions being actually uh, uh, produced during the manufacturing phase and the end of life phase. But, you know, these manufacturing processes don't happen in Europe and the United States. They yeah. happen somewhere in the world in mining countries, uh, developing countries, poor countries where nobody goes. And we don't see that pollution because yeah. we have relocated the pollution, which has become invisible. And we pretend to be clean, yeah. but in fact, we are not. Mm -hmm.